I've never been shy about my thoughts on the digital media championship. When they first announced that they were coming out with a mid-card title, I was really excited because what I'd been saying for a year to two previous to that was that there was way too many people on the roster fighting for nothing. You had the world title and you had the X division championship, which it's a mid, it's a cruiserweight championship. It's a lightweight championship. I know they try to every once in a while say, you know, no limits and and they try to throw Willie Mack in there and these dudes and Jake something. It is, is a freaking cruiserweight championship. So when they announced a digital media championship, I said, what the hell is this? And I, then I try to be open to it because, you know, they were trying to do something different. I'm always, always for something different. And I know a lot of people are very resistant to change. I'm not really one of those people. There's, there's sometimes I don't want you to change something that's working. But I'm always open to something different that nobody else is doing. And I remember Scott Demore saying, you know, we're always ahead of the curve here at Impact, which I would, I would dispute that. I think they've been a very reactionary company. I think in the earlier years, they were really ahead of their time. But under the Anthem umbrella, I think they've they've taken some chances. They've taken some swings. But I would say the majority of what they do is very safe, um, but very reactionary to what other people are doing. It's like now they do picture in picture, right? They, you know, they waited till two other companies did that, and then they they came up with it. But they initially acted like this title... They didn't act like it. They said it was going to have digital media exclusive matches. We were going to get uh, Twitter matches and Facebook matches. And they did do the the digital um, exclusive once a week for a while. I don't think they do that anymore. I I know I didn't watch them. I don't think anyone did. So I, I don't believe they do them anymore. I don't even think they're doing BTI any uh, any of that shit but they were doing the um the digital media exclusive matches and they kind of acted like you know this might be where we defend the title which i i probably could have gotten with that they had a tournament and the first match of the tournament it was like zicky dice for someone they'd let us know off the bat that this was a joke i don't remember who his opponent was but it, it was a joke match or it was like johnny swinger was in the first match or something like that and I, I always said the most, I always say the most eyes are always going to be on number one, the first episode of something, the first version of something, you know, that's always going to have the biggest, biggest set of eyeballs. So when you have the very first match in that tournament and, in the, and it's a joke match, you have set the tone and less and less people will care after that. So Digital media, which, you know, social media, digital media, this is not the strong point of impact. It never has been. I'm hoping, you know, in 2024, there's there's improvement there. But I would say that with the exception of the small amount of time Jeff Jarrett was around, that that was the only time. I mean, with the exception of that time, social media has been really bad for impact. When Jeff Jarrett was around, that's when it was interesting for a little while. So I was still kind of open to it. Are they going to, you know, start leveraging YouTube better, leveraging Twitter? You know, that's what I had been asking for. I was like, you got big followings on there, but your, your content is not good. So for about a couple months, they acted like, Hey, this might be something the, the title of the, the, the title of the title, I was going to say the name of the title, the name of the championship was horrible. I understand what they tried to do, but it was bad. And Kenny King called it the DMC at one point. Like I could have gotten gotten behind that branding a little bit more. It happened much later, obviously. But for the most part, it was a joke title. I thought when Matt Cardona held it that he could do something with it. But once he didn't, 
I knew that the title was dead. But they really tried to make it in the beginning sound like people wanted it. You know, everyone who was in the tournament, it was like an intergender tournament. So they acted like it was going to be intergender division as well. You know, so like Chelsea Green's, oh, the digital media championship. That's so perfect for me. You know, then fast forward three months and nobody wanted it. And no one cared. The fans didn't care. The wrestlers didn't care. And it's been up and down. Like every once in a while, they kind of have a decent champion. And we're like, hey, we might we might get something here. Um, they did the dot combat matches, which even though they're hardcore matches, they were pretty decent. Actually, they're actually kind of enjoyable, kind of entertaining. At one point, they t- put the title on Rich Swan, who doesn't even have social media. I mean, it, it's like you could have done something really, really different and actually built angles on um, Instagram Live and stuff like that. There was like, there's really a lot that you could have done, um, you know, and I, they just didn't. It became another championship, but it was called the Digital Media Championship. And it seemed like Brian Myers might be able to do something with it. Kenny King might like you, you, you keep thinking, okay, this might be it. And then Tommy dreamer holds it. And at that point we're like, okay, we're done. I think the impact fan base is done with this title. There is no way they're bringing this into 2024. They can't. I think it was one of my, um, when I started off the year, when I do my kind of predict predictions for the year, I didn't do it this year, 2023, but in 2022, I said, I predicted it would be the final year of the digital media championship. Um, But I think, I think this is the final year of it. I cannot imagine with them rebranding the company, rebranding the belts that this piece of shit is going to show up on television in 2024. There's no way. They have to do something. They have to have a mid-card title because they have to have people want to fight for it. They got to have people in the middle of the card fighting for something instead of just fighting each other for no fucking reason whatsoever. And it is tough to elevate someone from X Division champion to the world champion. Now, there's some people they've been able to do it with. Um, Brian Cage is probably the most recent. He's not the most recent. Rich Swan is the most recent, but... There's it's it's very it's it, there's not a lot of people in in modern day impact that have been able to elevate from being X Division champion to the world champion. I'm sure I'm missing one or two others, but it's not common because it's a freaking cruiserweight championship. But I think it's officially dead. You know, Crazy Steve, oh my lord, wrestled for the digital media championship last week. Can you imagine putting your career on the line in a feast or fired match for the digital media championship? Tommy Dreamer got himself disqualified because they need an excuse to do a hardcore rules, old school rules rematch, potentially at hard to kill, whatever. Crazy Steve needs the win, but Crazy Steve doesn't need to be the digital media champion. That would just be silly. Crazy Steve is a win, and they need to give him a new title. And he's one of the more interesting parts of the show right now. So I would just like to see him to win and then be granted like a television championship or something along those lines. It's not going to be the Legends or the King of the Mountain or anything like that. I think at this point, we really have to establish a new mid-card title that people want, that the fans want to see, that the fans are excited about. This is the perfect time to do it. It is. Do not bring this joke toy title into 2024. When Steve and Tommy Dreamer eventually have their match, have Steve win, give him a new freaking championship. Do not have Tommy Dreamer win and give him the new championship. Don't make him the inaugural, you know, access TV champion or some shit like that. Do not do that. And I don't even, I've I've been talking about Tommy Dreamer for a long time. I don't want Tommy Dreamer in the main event. I don't want him being a champion. I don't care if he wrestles in the middle of the card. I really don't. I know it probably sounds like I do. I listen to him on Busted Open Radio. Like he is an incredible wrestling mind. I'm actually very optimistic for Impact's uh, creative in 2024 with guys like him and Bully Ray around who maybe Bully Ray's not part of creative, but 
really good wrestling minds. You get rid of the Jimmy Jacobs and all that nonsense, and you have guys who really know uh, what they're talking about. So I have no problem with Tommy Dreamer wrestling here and there. Do I want him to be the mystery opponent, the mystery partner? Do I want him holding gold? Do I want him in the main event? Do I want do I watch old school rules? No, I don't. But there's a place for him. I have no problem with that. But Digital Media Championship, get this freaking title off him. Um, you know, and the last thing I want to say, when he wrestled Crazy Steve, they said it was his first title defense. I feel like this motherfucker has had the title for eight months. 